morning, everybody. Mike Bakke from PrincetonTrader.com here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and I got it zoomed in pretty tight here because I really want to get a sense of, of where we are and uh, what we did last week and what we can expect. Okay, we are here currently testing the middle Bollinger Band on the daily chart. On Thursday, we broke through the red line here, which is the 50-day exponential moving average, and we tagged the lower band. So we went from tagging, actually breaching the upper the upper band, tagging the three standard deviation band, and rolling right back over back to the lower band. Very, you know, very typical, not a very unusual trade at all. In the moment, it feels like a million things at once. When it's up here, it feels like it's never going to go down again. If you trade like that, you're going to be sorely disappointed when it does go down again. When it gets down here, nobody wants it. You wanted to buy it here. You don't want to buy it here. And so when you hit that lower band, then the train reverses. You're looking to sell. And now we're back up here at 1556. So the next time we get into one of these situations of the market melting up, melting down, get out on a daily chart, take a look at the bands, and ask yourself, you know, where where are we on the map here? Where are we on the map? And what can we expect to happen? Doesn't mean it's always going to work out like this. But if you do that, you'll be able to control your risk and you should be able to control your emotions. Um, so what's my expectation going forward? Well, we're at a critical time. Can the bears turn the bulls around here at the middle band? If they can do that, then we have a real opportunity for a meaningful pullback in the market. What history, what recent history has told us is that that probably won't happen breach of the lower band, right back through the middle band. Breach of the lower band, back through the middle band. On and on. As I zoom out this chart, lower, gapped right through it, hit the lower, right back through. One, two, three, four occasions. So the bears right now are 0 for 4 since uh, November in being able to hold the middle band as resistance. Why might this time be different? Well, you remember back on Wednesday after the Bears had that big down Monday, turn around, come back up on Tuesday, but the following day they were able to hold, to knock the middle band out on a successive day, which they had not done and then keep it down Thursday and Friday. So, while history is on the bull side, the recent price action seems to suggest that the bears could turn could turn it around here after a test of the middle band. If that happens, uh, you know, if we test the 5859 area and we can't get through, uh, you can absolutely put a short on but you just need to have a stop in place. And I would not place your stop on a 58.59 short any higher than, than say, 63 half. Because uh, once you get through 63 half, then the bulls are going to start to gain some momentum. The pullbacks are going to be bought, and chances are we go to the upper band, okay, and, con and continue to trade in this Bollinger Band range. So that would be my recommendation. Keep an eye on the middle band. Now, if we open up this morning and it just blasts through the middle band and doesn't stop, don't, I mean, just watch it go. But if you're not involved and you want to get involved and the middle band looks to be sticky up at the 59 area, then you can you can do a short there. Um, you know, that would be a suggestion, you know, with, with a risk marker, you know, stop area above, uh, above 63 half. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.